Mataji, I solved it. You solved it? Okay. Okay, let me first. Hi, let Krishna Mataji. Wait, Mataji. Hi, Krishna. I, how were you able to solve it without having the code? Maybe they used the previous one. A is one, B is two, like that. And then they did it. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Let us start. And then I'll tell you all. So, Hare Krishna, Subhadra, Giridhari, Abhinav, Sushita, Param, Smriti, Radha, Advait, Bal, Vrinda. <laughs> you got it, Smriti. Hare Krishna, Sudevi. Okay, so. Okay, first what we'll do is we'll start with our prayers and then we will. Go ahead, okay. Okay. Okay, everyone together. Om Agyanat Mirandas Andasya Gyananjana Shagaya Shunam Shri Tamyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Namaha Vishupana Padaya Krishna Prishnaya Prishnale Shukare Shreemate Bhakti Vedanta Namaste Namaste Sarasate Mishri Sarvane so what we'll do is we will start last time we forgot it shouldn't happen we will start with our one round of chanting okay everybody take your beats with you no can i go get my beats yeah yeah go get go get your beats no but i am okay so either you can mute your, either you can keep unmute muted or you can just uh, you can have yourself unmute and also uh, and then chant as well okay it's your wish if you are unmute that's much more better okay Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna 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 Ram 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 Hare Krishna 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 Ram 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 Krishna 
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Hare
Done everyone? Okay, wonderful. Very good. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have the verse revised ones. Okay, 9.2 would be great. Okay, so again, now today, suppose now it is Abhinav. Okay, very nice. So Abhinav with his name star like the second alphabet starts with a B. So he has put up Banke Bihari Abhinav. Okay. Adwait. Do you want to change your name with the name starting of the Lord with the uh, with the alphabet D? Namati, I'm on the second A right now. Because I started after I finished my name. So I'm on the second A right now. Mataji, I'm on my first letter. I put Are you sure, Adwait? Yeah, Mataji. Because remember no, last because time, we, you told we started us, like, five weeks, right? So one, two, three, four, five. You should have been on T, brother. Because it was just five or some five weeks or something we started. And then after finish, that, we yeah, started. I didn't finish mine. Uh, my name. Right, right, right. And then so you should have you should have had D now. What did you add with D? I think for one week you did you put up two names? Maybe in the Govinda group you added another one. Oh yeah. On maybe. Monday. Maybe, right? Yeah. Because I think Monday we were also talking about it. So I think that's how it happened. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, I, put, I put for D last time. Okay. Then Kabir. Yes, Kabir, did you, yeah, Kabir. So now what are we doing is we are adding like our names are there, right? Now it is K. So from K, uh, Lord Krishna's names, there are more than thousand names of the Lord, right? So yeah. with your alphabet, with K. Krishna. <laughs> okay 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 so the next week would be a okay for you the second alphabet in your uh, in your name okay param what about you um not the last week i put paramananda so i went for p and a so now today now it's a right uh yeah ananda, ananda? yeah check for the lord's name and then put up then um, okay, Dwarka Dish Advait, very nice. Kabir is Krishna Nena. Yes, Krishna Nena, what yeah, what you can do is now because your name itself has Krishna. So what you can do, you can start with Nena. You can start with an N. Okay, Mataji. The Lord's um, name starting with an N. Yes, Param. <laughs> And there's one that starts with A named Achyuta. You have to remember this, okay? Because after the end of everybody's names with this, then we are going to have a game with this, all these words. There will be a nice riddle put up. Yeah. When, you, when you are adding these names, if there is any story or if there is any reason why the Lord is named by that name, you should be knowing that story as well. Mataji, okay. I just searched up the meaning of Banki Bihari. Can I see? Very it? nice. So that that is the main uh that's the main uh essence of doing all these activities, you know. I, I okay, so Krishna. Krishna. And my, yeah, you put a Yeah, and I also remember one of them. I'm adding one more that starts with Okay. The okay. Never mind. Okay. Madhava Smriti. Okay. Then for, we have Radha. Radha, are you adding your name? You are at, at your last week, you must have been done with an R, right? Yes. So now it's R A. Okay, Mataji, I add one. Subhadra and Giridhari. Hari Bol, Subhadra Giridhari. Where are yes, you? Mataji. You're doing your karate? No, Mataji, we. I just I just got my notebook here for extra notes. Okay. So where's Giridhari? We're missing him. Mataji, he's coming. He's just doing Midanga practice. He's coming. Okay. So Subhadra, as you know, we started last week with the names of the Lord, right? Were you there last week? I don't think so, Mataji. I don't think okay, I so was there because oh, uh, Mataji, because... I think uh, Giridhari once said that uh, or one of um, 
I think Giridari once said that they won't they won't put um before their name because it will make it will become too long. Never mind. We can have them like with Subhadra. Whichever new name you feel you want to add with which starts with an S. The Lord's name which starts with an S. And I got a perfect that... one, Mataji. I was thinking of one. Okay. And the... for Giridhari, the one which starts with G, okay? Okay, Mataji. Then Tushita. Tushita, now, yes, last week, last week you must have started with the T. Do you know the Lord's name which starts with a U? Anybody wants to help her out? Okay, with a uh, you, Sudevi has Urukrama. Upendra. Upendra, very nice. Upendra Maji, I was thinking that. Upendra. I was asking my mom, is Upendra Krishna's name? So I was asking. But by the time Upendra. Maji already said it. <laughs> yeah. Vinita Gandhavika Mataji, you can also play. I can also play. <laughs> Yeah, Mataji, I put for Runda. I put for Runda. Uh, she had, last time she put with V, right? Now I put R. Uh, so Shama is... Uh, Mataji, you can do Sharnagar. What is it? Ravi Lochana. Very good. Suggest me one, Mataji. Last time I didn't have. Shama is Radhika. Shama Sundara. Shama Sundara. Shama Sundara. Somebody has put in the Shama Sundara, right? Yeah, right, right. Okay, Sarveshwara. Okay. Then, Abhay. Okay, Tushita, do you want to add up Upendra? With your name? Uh, I want to add uh, Sarvesh Paravish. Should I add? Do you want to add another one? Om Chatur Chatur. Okay, so Nanda Gopal. Who's added? Okay, Nanda Gopal Krishna. Nina. Very nice. Radha? Yudaya Namaha. That's the name. <laughs> Okay, Ra Radha, yes. do you want to add a name? But Mataji, I'm right here and, and you didn't pick me yet. I am a, I am picking you up because you know what? I want you to be a special name. That is the reason I was waiting. And then I was waiting that maybe Ryan will show me himself. I'm picking a, picking a name with... I'm trying to sound like Noga, but I don't know how to sound how to am. Okay, uh, with an R. Ryan, what we'll do is we are starting the Lord's name starting with an R. Raghunath. Raghunath. I don't know how to spell out Raghunath. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it you for can, you. Okay, uh, don't you can worry. put it in the chat and he could copy yeah, it. No worries. Ryan, I'm doing it for you. Mataji, I posted the name of uh, one of the names of the Lord in the chat. Yeah, so Ra Ryan, I've changed it for you, okay? Do you see the change okay. of your name? Raghunath. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have wonderful names. See, by doing this, what we are going to do is we are trying to learn as many names of the Lord, okay? We'll try to search for it. We'll try to find the names of the Lord will try to find the Mataji? meanings of the Lord. Yes? Mataji. Like also in, in, in the number 12 slide, the 12th slide, mm -hmm. I saw you like place the 12th slide. It was like a riddle, like a <laughs> secret code. Yes, it's a code which we need to decode. First, we'll, we'll practice our verse and then we'll Mataji. go with it. Okay? Mataji. Yes. Yes. Uh, I looked at my internet and I found Advait. Advait Param, okay. 
wonderful okay <laughs> so now I, what I we will do figure out the video okay let let us go ahead with that later on okay once we are done with the words so, so now okay uh, mata ji is balavrinda there or she is in studies mata ji my mom's upstairs but i'm over here mata ji what do you want me to do yeah, i want you to recite the verse can you okay. do that yes mata ji raja vidya raja gui amba vidra mida muddamam padaksha vagamam darvam susukam gardam avyam thank you mata ji hari bol uh, kabir धर्म्यम सुसुखम ओके with no matter if you are on mute but still keep on reciting the verse so that it becomes more familiar to you so devi raja vidya raja guhyam pavitram midam uttamam pratyakshavagamam dharmyam susukam kartum avyam ek mantra shri krishna hari bol then we have krishna nena परम राज विद्या राज गुह्यम पवित्र मिदम उत्तम प्रत्यक्ष गर्म्यम सुसुख कर्तम व्यय राजुहुम record smriti Mati did you yes. recite yes okay Mati. okay okay ryan raj gujra raj kuyam vaijana sa idam uttamam sampratta tatra tav pratyaksha vagamam pratyaksha vagamam susukam kartum avyayam Very good. Can everybody give a big hari bol for Ryan? Hari, hari bol, bol, Ryan. Hari bol, bol, Ryan. Very nice. Mother, I learned this from my my preschool temple. I wonder on very, Sunday. Very nice. Very nice. See, that means wherever you go and wherever you learn. Okay, we will take this in this in the next when we are explaining about this verse. We will just take about it. Okay, Tushita.
Go ahead. Okay. Mother Ji, actually she is eating, so just after two minutes. <laughs> okay, okay, no worries, no worries, no worries. When you're done, just raise your hand, okay? Tushita, in the middle of the class also, we'll go ahead with it. No worries. I am going to lower all the hands. Okay, now is anybody left for Tushita when she's done? Then we'll have her. Okay, everybody's recited the verse once, right? Okay. So... Okay, so what happens is when you all are on video, then I can easily pick you up. Whenever you feel you're okay, Ryan, Adwell, you can come on video. Okay? Okay, Kabir, can you read the translation for us, please? Okay, Mataji. The knowledge is the king of education, the most secret of all secrets. It is the purest knowledge, and because it gives Rex perception perception of the self by realization it is a perfection of religion it is everlasting and it is joyfully performed very good okay so the lord over here now we have all we have tried to decode that what is this knowledge that hey hi bol garidari oh so he's I'm very it. sorry mataji i was doing my mudanga class very nice, very nice. You're doing some devotional service, right? Yeah. Okay, Mataji, can I say the um, yes. um verse, Mataji? Okay. Go ahead. Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Pavitram Medam Muttamam Pratakshya Avagamam Dharmyam Shukham Kartamagvayam Very good. Wonderful. Thank you, Giridhari. So, Giridhari has put his name as Govardhan. Very good. Okay. <laughs> yes, Tushita, go ahead. Raj. Raja Vidyam Raja Kuyam Pravetra Idam Idam Uttamam Pratyaksha Avagamam Pratyaksha Avagamam Dharmyam Dharmyam Susukham Kartam Avyayam Susukham Kartam Avyayam very good, Tashita. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so, what we did last week was we thought about like this knowledge is the king of education. Okay, so now we are all worried. Mataji, I wasn't here. I wasn't here for la yesterday, Friday. Okay, okay. So, what we will do is we will go back to that our screen. Okay, one second. Mataji. Yes. On the 24th, I will not be a, and the 20, um, the next week, I won't be able to join the 24th and the 17th because, um, um, in my school on the 24th, there's a concert and it's seven to like something. So I'm not going to be able to join. And there's Harinam on March 17th. So I can't come that, um, okay. Okay, let's see. I, I think you all will be having your uh, spring break also, right? So then Mataji will announce that when about the spring break. Mataji, I'm doing. also having spring break at my school. Wow, that's cool, uh, right? What are you what are you guys having your spring break? Mine? Mataji. Yeah, mine yes. is two weeks. Mataji, I'm not gonna be yes. on the twenty fifth because I have to go to my Rubik's Cube competitions. Competitions. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, those who are going for your competitions, all the best to you. And you. let us see when everybody's spring break is. And then Ma Mataji will announce about it. So Mataji, you want to say something? Mataji, is March 25th on the weekend? I am not sure. Let me check. Yes, Smriti, you're saying something? Mataji, my birthday is next Friday. Ah, your birthday is on the 17th. Wonderful. 25th, Mataji. the 25th is a Saturday. Right. Mataji. Mataji. Yes. My my birthday is on the 17th, Mataji. Your birthday is also on the 17th? Of yes, March? Mataji. Unfortunately, it's Akadashi. So Unfortunately, no, it's a fortunately. Yeah. Fortunately, it's Akadashi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I forgot. Okay. One at a time. One at a time. Okay. okay. So one second. Let me first solve this part. So Subhadra, your birthday is on the 17th of March. And Smriti, your birthday is also on the 17th of March, right? Wonderful. We have two birthdays on the 17th. So we should have a party that day. Yes. St. Patrick's Day is on that day. What is there? St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. Okay. And we have Ekadashi, somebody said, right? Yes. Pataji, Pataji, I have Ek I had Ekadashi on my birthday. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, for me, yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. For me, listen, listen, listen. For me, Ekadashi is on the 18th. In India, Ekadashi is on the 18th. Okay. Okay. So, yes, Abhinav? Um, uh, I have a spring break. Uh, and that is at the ending of April, different than probably than different than probably many of uh the others. Yes. It, so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'll ha uh so. Yeah. I also have the same thing. Okay, wait. We'll just wait till Abhina finishes. Yes, Abhina, you're saying something. Yeah. Uh, that. Wait. Um. I'll come back one moment. I'll find the dates. Okay. Yes, Advait. Mathe, I also have in two weeks. Okay. Okay. Mathe, you will announce about that. Okay. So, what we will do is now, I am going to... Yes. My birthday is on the November 3rd and, and Kadashi was on the November 4th. I was, I was celebrating my birthday party on the November 4th during Ekadashi. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to find a way out, right? Mabhi, when it is on Ekadashi. Mabhi, when is your birthday? November 3rd. Oh. I'm trying to... Okay. 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 Let's come back. Let's come back. Okay. So we talked about so Ryan. Ryan was oh, last week. Uh, yes. One last thing. Uh, mine is uh from 7th to four, uh to uh 14th. Actually, oh, 16th of April, the, huh? Actually, oh, 16th of the weekends. In April. Okay, April. Okay. Yeah, some of the states might have that. Radha is sleepy already. <laughs> no, Mataji. <laughs> okay. So now we talked about so Ryan wasn't present last week. So where's Ryan? Is Ryan here? Yeah. Ryan is there. So, Ryan, what did we talk about is the Lord is saying that this chapter, you know, why did we do about these quotes? We did a game last week, Ryan. Okay. So, what we did was we did what? this. Can you see this slide, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah. So, what we did was. We... Okay. So, we had numbers assigned to alphabets. Okay. And then we gave a code and then we had to decode that code. So today we will be doing a code in a different way. Before that, what we talked about was this knowledge of education uh, is the king of education. Okay. And then it also says that it is the most secret of all secrets. Can somebody tell me what is this king of education? If somebody has read the purport. Any idea like what is the Lord talking about? <laughs> Ma I'm Mataji. To... Yes. It's Krishna consciousness. No, uh, knowing... Okay, Krishna con Yeah, Krishna consciousness. Anybody else? Yes. Pure Bhakti. What is it? Pure Bhakti. Very good. Devotional service. Mataji. Very nice. Yes, Giridhari. Yes, yes. Mat so, this is the uh, like, like the um, the knowledge is the king of education, which uh, Krishna is indicating about the scriptures or Bhagavad Gita or Bhagavatam. Yeah. So, what is there in that? That's the knowledge given, right? And then, yeah. why is it called as the king? We will we will talk about that. Okay. It is the purest knowledge which gives the direct perception of the self. So, you remember what we talked about in the second chapter. The knowledge about the soul and the body, isn't it? That we are not this body, we are the soul. So that this knowledge, everything comprised together is the king of education. 
and what did we talk about it was <clears throat> that after in our education in our schooling system we do not have any way wherein it gives information about the soul right this is the biggest drawback that there is no science which is giving you any information about your spiritual soul about your spiritual life everything is just comprised to material life right we had see we had this part like how to dance properly we have a class how to become a doctor we have a course how to uh, how to like take care of children they uh, it is being taught but then there is no way where we will understand how to take care of your soul or what is to be done so that the soul can be active so that the soul can be uh, alive see a person who is not doing any bhakti a person who is not doing any devotional service is not at all doing anything for the soul you know what does the soul need the soul is hankering for the lord and if we are not keeping the soul in in accordance with the lord or in the uh, service of the lord that means you are starving the soul okay suppose now you do not eat food for 10 days okay you are hungry but you are not given not given food that means you are starving right forget about 10 days for 2 days if you are not given food that means you are starving yourself is that a good feeling or a bad feeling bad feeling ma bad feeling bad feeling right? it's not bad good. feeling yes it's not good when you're not getting any food to eat so imagine what happens to the soul the food for soul is knowing more about krishna food for soul is reading bhagavatam food for the soul is listening the kathas from bhagavatam food for the soul is learning reading the bhagavad gita food for the soul is understanding the bhagavad gita listening to classes mataji sorry listening to classes about listening bhagavad to classes right bhagavad gita bhagavatam everything listening to that <clears throat> this all is food for the, our soul the soul is very happy when you, do you all get happy when you get food to eat yummy food to eat isn't it yeah it, yes. it will be soon <laughs> it is normally lunch time dinner time for you all right now or maybe in a few uh, in a in a few hours or so so for the soul also having food is is like reading the bhagavad gita listening to the classes all these things are included to make the soul happy okay and that is the reason the lord has mentioned over here that uh, this is the knowledge of knowledge is the king of education that this knowledge about the soul and the body what what is the real thing is that you are not this body you are the soul and what the soul needs that is more important okay in the last few lines of the purport of this 9.2 the lord mentions the we will we will go with it okay so let us just go ahead with this it is the perfection of religion it is everlasting and it is joyfully performed devotional service when you are doing devotional service when you are bathing the lord when you are cooking for the lord or when you are offering the lord something are you unhappy or are you happy 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 ryan what about you me you are happy, happy right tushita okay so tushita you can just give a thumbs up just give a thumbs up very good so and this is everlasting remember what we said last time that in, in this life if i have a bank balance okay i have suppose 10 lakhs of rupees in my uh, in my bank account when i when i retire from this world when i'm gone from this world the next life when i come take and i come back and i say oh in my bank i had 10 lakhs last in my last life now i i want that 10 lakh back is anybody going to give it to me no that means this money we are not going no. to carry anywhere we are not going to carry but my house Mataji, which i had yes but but our bhakti will be still progress it will never be yes finished. yeah right just like the bank has a book right <clears throat> the bank over here has a book where everything is mentioned what your life is about what you about sorry what your bank has how much of money it has right but 
when we have our bhakti book that is with krishna and that bhakti book will continue for your lives in this life if you have done done 10 good things your or 10 things in for devotion in the next life your book will start from the 11th whatever activity you do will be calculated as the 11th activity but that will not happen with the material world and that is the reason it is said it is everlasting so why not like suppose you go to the shop okay and somebody tells you you take some uh, maybe a headphone or uh, um, yeah maybe headphones only because those are more appropriate now you get a headphone okay and then when you take a headphone you ask the 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 person the uh, the person selling over there that uh, oh are these goods and he will say oh no these are these will break maybe in two days or maybe on a month this will break and then there are some other ones if they and then he says oh these will continue these will go you for a long time which one would you prefer to take the one with the everlasting one that goes yeah it goes for a long time yes yeah, right so that this is an intelligent uh intelligent choice that the one which will go for a long time or for will go for the maximum time you are going to choose that so in our material life also when we know that this devotional service is going to go for a long time for us why not select that okay and this devotional service like it is it is not taught in the school and colleges so it is you have to you have to make your own endeavors to go through it. They, you have to approach a guru so that you can you can have the uh, perception, you can have the understanding by a proper guru parampara system. Okay? You cannot just go and say, oh yes, I have acquired the knowledge. I sat down under a tree, something fell on me and now I have become, uh, I know everything. Right? It does not work in that way. You have to have acquired the knowledge from a proper guru. One second. Huh? <clears throat> Ashutosh Sanskrit exam is today. So he will be going in another half an hour. Okay, so then. So Ryan, you weren't there, right? Are you looking at the slides? We are going yes, for Mother the Yes, Mother Yeah, yeah so. For the devotional service, what we said, what what all can we do? And prasadam. Chanting. Chanting and dance. Prasadam. Chanting, sing and dance. Prasadam. Right? We had this slide also put up where we are listening, we are doing the kirtan, we are chanting, we are serving the Lord. Then we are the, the deity worship. Then we uh, uh, tapasya. That means we are trying to please the Lord in different types of ways, right? So these are all the ways by which you can know about the Lord. You can go closer to the Lord or you can please the Lord. And that this is the, the devotional service is what the Lord is talking about. Because, you know, at the end, when we'll go to the end, okay? Why this is eternal, we said, yeah. Now, what we said about one more thing is which is explained in our this uh, last time we did not, we were not able to cover this up. You know, in the Padma Purana, it is said that <clears throat> man's sinful activities have been analyzed and are shown to be the results of the sin after sin. Okay, in this lifetime, I am going to commit one sin. Okay. I might have committed like so many sins we commit on a day-to-day -day basis also, right? We should try to eliminate that. But then we might have done something wrong. And then whatever that wrong is done, remember whatever karma, whatever we are doing is not just going to vanish off. What happened? You didn't find? Outside? What's up? It's so then what happens is that it is like you know something you do, something you do wrong it is not that okay you know what i did something wrong today let me do three more rounds of uh chanting 
and then whatever I did wrong will go away. Is that how it works? No. If you do something wrong, it will fructify in some way or the other. And that is the reason we are saying that try not to do any sinful activity. Because in our ten uh, offenses of chanting also it is there, right? Whatever you are doing wrong, do not do it on the strength of the holy name. That you are doing something wrong and then you feel, okay, you know what, today I am I'm doing this something wrong. But then tomorrow I will chant some extra rounds and whatever I have done wrong will be eliminated. It does not work in that way. See over here, the example is given of a tree. Okay, the seed which is being sown. Okay, the seed grows, it grows, it grows, it grows. This seed is compared to the wrong activity which you have been thinking, which you have been doing, whether to a devotee, to a non-devotee, whosoever. Whatever you are doing, it is just like a seed. It is being planted. Once you do that wrong thing, it is being planted. And then it grows and grows and grows. And when the time comes, you get the results for it. Your sadhana will definitely be a very important part in what, what you undergo. Because remember, in our in many classes also we have that see, whatever wrong we have done, we will have to go with the results for it. But if your sadhana is strong, if your faith in the Lord is strong, because see, what person I was last year, I am not the same person today. Okay, I have been changed. Maybe in a good way, in a bad way, but everybody is changing. Suppose the person in his, maybe last year he was a very sinful person, but now he is trying to improve. He is trying to do good activities. He is trying to chant the holy names of the Lord. Right? What will happen? I have to, I have to take the results of whatever wrong I have done. Because once a wrong is done, it is just like a seed is sown somewhere and it is going to bloom one day or the other. So what I do is, if I'm chanting, if I've turned into a good person, if I'm into bhakti, if I'm into devotional service, something, suppose an example I give. Like suppose I, it is destined for me that I am going to meet an accident. What happens? If I have been really a good person, if things are going okay, what will happen? I will fall down. But instead of fracturing my arm, I might have a small, you know, a small, small damage. That might be a thing. So never think that by doing devotional service, everything is going to just go away. So about since what it is written is a man performs a sinful act. And like a seed, it takes time to fructify. There are different stages. The sinful action may have already stopped. As I told last year, I was some different person. Today, this year, this I might have changed. So the sinful action might have already stopped within the individual but the results of the fruit of that sinful actions are still to be enjoyed now it is written enjoyed that means it are still going to come up there are sins which are still in the form of a seed and there are others which are already fructified and are giving us the fruit that is the reason sometimes we have a very nice day sometimes we have a really bad day when we, things do not go right or things do not go in the way we have planned them which So, there are sins which are still in the form of a seed and there are others which are already fructified and are giving us fruit which we are enjoying as distress and pain. Every, every day is not a very happy day, right? Some day is full of distress. So, that's the result of whatever things have happened in the past with us. And the sooner we understand this, the sooner we can change ourselves into day-to-day -day life. The sooner we can try not to hurt anyone not to uh, try to remain aloof from any sinful activity. The sooner we understand this, we can apply that. Okay. The last time we talked about Maharaj Muni's life also. So I am going to stop share this and then we are going to share the new one. Okay. Which is there for this week. Mataji. <laughs> yes. It's all, uh, Matt, uh, yesterday, his holiness, Kadam Kanda um went to Goloka. Yes. Yeah. Have you did you read what like uh, at the end the last updates of the of Maharaj when they were posting? Yeah. And about Maharaj life also. So as you know, like yeah. as you are learning about your in your day to day, uh, school life as you are going through your uh, studies also. 
in that same way you should try to read about maharajas now when now at the recent thing is what when kadam kanan maharaj his holiness kadam kanan maharaj when he left you can read about his work you can read about his life yeah, ma, to he today, today when i was doing my work i was getting everything wrong and then i had to restart it and then i was so frustrated and they put a script on and then um like it was nine questions and i got it all right all because of the kirtan very nice so stay in to devotional service as long as much as possible you know life is oh, too short if you want to do that Ma Mata ji sorry Mata yes. ji can, can we do the riddle yes we'll do the riddle okay after the slide we'll do the riddle okay so we'll just talk about the devotional service okay because the lord over here see in this verse what does the lord say about is that it is everlasting and it is joyfully performed right so so we will just talk about that so when it is said that the devotional service is a happy one is su sukham okay so uh, param can you read about uh, this one so, this part uh, only the devotional service is joyful on these points okay. uh, devotional service is joyful one can ex ex execute execute <laughs> execute devotional service even in the most poverty strike on condition can be offered by any person regardless of the social position and will be accepted it if, if offered with love actual devotional service continues even after the duration thank you one very good okay so this is what is important about devotional service it is joyfully performed and it can be done by any any uh, strata in the society that's the one who are poor the one who are medium class the one who are high class or any class of people can easily do a devotional service why can anybody easily do the answer is over here what does the lord say patram pushpam phalam toyam right that means the lord does not need all the 56 bhogas only that if you offer even a leaf water of a fruit a flower but if you offer it with love the lord will accept it and that is what is important about devotional service so it is not you cannot say oh you know what the lord hasn't given me enough money so i cannot buy bhoga for him so i cannot do any cooking devotional service it is not like that the lord is going to be happy with whatever conditions you give but only the thing is that it has to be offered with love you cannot say oh lord you know what i am going to give you a uh, 56 56 bhoga this with this uh, uh, whatever janmashtami or it is but then please do this favor on me please do this for me please do that for me it cannot be a give and take exchange relationship with the lord the next is it can be offered by any person it can be offered by the very highest person it can be offered by the lowest person by a youngest person by oldest person kabir you are trying to say something oh oh were you trying to say something i was about to type something okay 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 no worries so it can be done by any person okay and the most important part actual devotional service continues even after liberation even after liberation when you go to the lord support there you can continuously chant the names of the lord there you can be continuously in the service of the lord see when a devotee goes to the spiritual planet in the kingdom of god he is always engaged there in serving the supreme lord he does not try to become one with the supreme lord okay because if i become one with the supreme lord how am i to serve the lord and the best thing that a devotee can do to the lord is serve the lord whether he is in the material world or he is in the abode of the lord okay so this is the knowledge this is the secret which the lord is trying to tell and what does the lord say you know that see this is very very important okay the the earlier we understand this that is the reason this has been very important what is it no uh, abhinav can you read okay wait one second i haven't given any girls the chance today i guess so devi can you read this yes no mata ji oh no one can understand the supreme personality of godhead by executing karma yoga 
ज्ञान योगा अष्टांग योगा और एनी अदर योगा इंडिपेंडेंटली बाई दिस योगिक मेथड्स वन मे मेक अ लिटिल प्रोग्रेस प्रोग्रेस टूवर्ड भक्ति बट विदाउट कमिंग टू द स्टेज ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस वन कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड है थैंक यू माता very good okay so see and very important over here is or any other yoga independently that means gyana yoga along with your devotional service you can make progress karma yoga if you are doing but then your devotional service has to be there ashtanga yoga with the devotional service if you are doing this all yogas independently and then wishing that yes you will be liberated it is a very long process it is just like walking through the stairs and then reaching the 100th floor or your devotional service is like taking a lift and then going to the 100th floor which one would you prefer taking the lift taking the lift and going to the 99th floor or walking the stairs and then going to the 99th floor which one lift walk lift mataji lift is much more better option right it's an intelligent option so Bata then mataji mataji but then if the elevator breaks um that's why yeah. no once you take the elevator and if it is the elevator of devotional service it's not going to break and oh, if yeah. it breaks also if it breaks also the in your that would be in the break in the life and the next life you'll again start with where you stopped so don't worry about the devotional service elevator it is going to take you maybe in this life or maybe in the next life okay and so what does the lord say by these yogic methods one may take a little progress towards bhakti yoga you do karma yoga if you're doing only karma yoga if you're doing only gyana yoga if you're doing only ashtanga yoga a little bit progress will be done but and then that will continue in your next life but you will not the the real progress which is done will be through devotional service okay now coming back uh yeah tushita has said this okay now we'll come back to the last segment of our class okay and that is last week what we did was we had a as 1 b as 2 right numbers we had now this week if uh, you have to send a friend a code okay if your friend is there or anybody is there you want to send a code and then that person might know what the key is when you send suppose uh, giridhari and um, subhadra in class they want to talk in a special code in the code language they want to talk okay and so giridhari and subhadra they don't know they know for each other that okay when uh, when he whenever he is sending any code language that means this is the key that means in these letters in these words like see y s z p g r this is one word so wherever there is a y it has to be substituted with a b wherever there is s everybody is understanding this ryan फन But Mashi, Tushita, you understanding? I, can I tell you something? Uh, do not tell me the key of this. Yeah, uh, Mata, I will tell you the key. Yeah. Um, it's just you don't even need. The, you know how you have two columns? Uh huh. You don't even need the second column. If you just have the first column, it's fine. Yes, so that, that is that. Y. Yeah, that will be. You know, in your in the exams when you have, when you have the uh more exams. One second, okay. why so this we yeah, are you know what like in in exams in in exams there are such questions asked okay that if d is w they'll give you two or three let's suppose e is v and uh, u is f then they will give you all this one and then can you solve this so that's at a higher level so i do not want to take you immediately at the higher level so we i've given you the key for each and every alphabet okay so tushita 
what it is wherever in these words okay wherever there is a you have to substitute you have to write a z to to it so wherever there is a z you have to write an a wherever there is an s you have to write h if there is a z you have to uh, you have to write an a over there okay the light words which are there i'll take a screenshot of this so that you can because in the class uh, in your uh, uh, i have just sent you the okay one second okay so i'll give you a minute you can think about it what the code is i think some of you have already decoded it you <laughs> have decoded it you can raise your hands in your over there i get okay. it now three of them four of them okay see wherever there is a y you have to add a b okay what i'm going to do is i am let let us solve it together okay wherever there is a y there is a b the next alphabet is s so what should i add now h h when it's a z what should i add a. 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 When there's a when there's a P. P P. Hey. K. 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 Okay. When there's a one second. Okay. R is um I mother G. Okay. Let me change so, this. To... Yeah. When there's a G. With the academy. Yes. T. 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 What kids academy? Okay. <laughs> when there's an R. I. Academy. I. Academy. Something. Something. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Okay. I think this should have been a T over here. Okay. Then when there's an H. Bhakti Sangha Japa rocks. I mean Bhakti Sangha. Java group. Kids, M with uh, an M. Bhakti it Sangha be an kids. N. Bhakti Sangha kids. Bhakti Sangha kids rocks. Rocks. Bhakti Sangha kids e. academy rocks. Ga Bhakti Sangha kids. Kids, kids. academy rocks. Academy rocks. Oh yeah. Academy. Academy rocks. <laughs> did you all get it? How did we do? Yeah. Yes, yes mother. Bhakti Sangha Academy box. I I like the numbers though. This is kind. Of, it feels kind of confusing. Yeah, this, this, this is but more. I can. Yeah, this do. is more challenging. The word, the alphabet becomes easier. There can be different. There can be more complexity towards it. But this is like the with the uh num with the alphabets. It it becomes more confusing, and that is what what Mother, that is what the examiner will want. Do, right? Are we gonna do one next time? Last week I made... maybe I can maybe for the same key I will give you a different example okay Marty, last in, week in I the WhatsApp a, group uh, um I made a answer sheet um and all of them were random it wasn't even like this it was like random yeah and I it becomes more them. confusing you <laughs> yeah we we are done Mataji yeah we are Marty, almost done now something? yeah tomorrow here there's like a temple nearby. Like one hour away, it's Laguna Beach, and there's a Maha Gaur Purnima there. It's like oh. uh pretty uh, like a lot of temples in California. From there, they go to Laguna Beach, like LA, Long Beach, Very and nice. um, be a be a San part Diego. of it. Be a part of it. Everybody, can you come on video, please? One minute. Okay, Mataji. Miss Balvinder is gone. Yeah, okay, Balvinder is there. Today, I problem, Mataji. That's why I told her. Okay, okay, no worries, no worries, Mataji. She's uh, sitting here, Mataji. Okay, okay. But the, where is uh, Krishna Nena? Is there <laughs> Krishna Nena? Is there? A big hurry ball. Hurry ball. So Haribol. nice to see everyone. Hurry ball. Hurry ball. Very nice. Very nice. Hurry ball. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll. Yes. Um, Mother, you know, you know, 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 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but I got it. No worries, you can off the video, okay? Amata ji. Uh -huh. tomorrow, tomorrow there um is um like near our temple, there's this Prabhuji and Mataji they call us. And the Jagannathji are the biggest in Delaware and they came to our house and um we're gonna go see them because um they left okay, so like do as much of service you can. That would be the best for you. But uh, uh, along with that, study also, okay? So what we'll do is, I know it's bedtime for you all. And I'm happy that the time zone will change next week. Because once it changes next week, then I have a little bit more time with you. Mataji, right now yes. it's evening. It's, it's an e evening for you all. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we'll meet next time. week. Yeah, we'll meet next That's week. Not... Will the, will the time zone increase by one hour or decrease by one hour? It, it will be increased yeah. by one hour so that you'll have more time now because it's summer approaching, right? Wow. One more, more okay. time. So, Vancha Kalpataru Bhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyascha Kripa Naam Pavanityo Vaishnavi Bhyascha Anand Koti Vaishnavi Bhyascha Hari Bol, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Kr